will not let you down. Look at someone by your side and say, God will not let you down. A lot of people are afraid not being certain of the future. They are afraid of so many things. Afraid of who they will get married to. Afraid whether they will have children or not. Afraid of it. I mean, their education. How will they go to school and who will sponsor them? Afraid of even getting admission. Afraid of almost everything in the company, in the country, in the family. But today I'm glad to announce to you, there is no need to be afraid. God is in charge of your life. And he will not let you down. Help me tell somebody by your side, God will not let you down. In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 9, the Bible says here, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God's thoughts, God's way, they are higher than your own. His wisdom, his senses is higher than your own. He has everything more than your own. And honestly, God is interested to give people more than what they think or ask. He always wants to give people surplus so that he will, he, 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 you will know that it is a doing of the Lord. When God was to give a small boy fishes and bread for giving out seven fishes or seven, five bread, God gave him seven baskets, 12 baskets of fishes and bread. And that was surplus blessing. When John and Peter and all the rest were fishing, and God was to surprise them with a lot of fishes because they couldn't get anything throughout the whole night, God gave them much more what than they can think or ask. They got surplus fish. They caught so too much that even the boat they were using for fishing was sinking. God is going to bless someone above what he can carry. Yeah. Who is the person I'm talking of? God will bless you until your own cars in your house will be much more than your garage. Your security men will have their car. Your children will have the, their own car. The boys in the house and the guests will have their own different cars. The housemate in your house will have his own, her own car. Your wife will have their own car. In fact, you will build a house separately for your guests and for your boys and for your children. If you believe that, shout a bigger amen. Because God will bless you in such a way that the houses you have will be so much. The building you have will be so much that you'll be saying, hey, where is my first son, uh, Shinedu, have that house? Where is my daughter, uh, Agnes, have that house? Where is my other son? Even you'll be giving houses to your grandchildren. That is a blessing God will give to you. How many of us are expecting that blessing? God likes to give surplus blessing to people. Surplus blessing. Surplus blessing. Yesterday somebody was asking me, did I, did I like to further my education? I say, as long as I have life, I will keep schooling. He looked at me. I said, I'm even planning to go for my PGD in education. And he looked at me. I said, yes. I said, a few years to come out, go and go, go for my PGD in education. He looked at me. He said, as you are getting older, you want to see school. I said, if you don't read, you will rust. You become younger by doing things that young people do. If you always stay around young people, you will be looking younger. 
But if you stay around 80 years people, 100 years people, very soon you, your gray hair, you will soon have gray hair. You'll be thinking like old men and old women. You'll be acting, even your voice will change like old men and old women because you will start talking like them. Because all the time you are with what? That's why I like staying with young people. That's why I want to go back to school. That's why I want to do things that young people do. Listen to me. From today, your strength will be renewed. Yeah. Hallelujah. I say your strength will be renewed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. 